ICPC exposes how Nigerian politicians, others, are stealing in trillions annually. Hmm. This is a no-brainer. We know that the politicians are stealing not just annually, on a daily and weekly basis. And the reason they keep stealing is not because we don't have systems in place to check them, but because we don't have the willpower and what it takes to stop the politicians from stealing. Well, <clears throat> let's see how it goes. Chairman of the Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offenses Commission, ICPC, Professor Bolaji Owasanoye, declared Thursday that money to fix Nigeria is within, but being stolen on daily basis, aided by pervasive, systemic, or malignant corruption in the country. Or was Anoye who stated this in Abuja as guest speaker at the two-day capacity building workshop organized for members of the House of Representatives Committee on Anti-Corruption and Military Officers by the National Institute for Legislative and Democratic Studies, NILDS, said on electronic transmission alone, 24 trillion naira has been transacted between January to June this year, which is always about 50 trillion annually. Corruption in Nigeria, he added, is highly systemic or malignant by being carried out in the most of the government-owned agencies, particularly the revenue-generating ones. From 19 of such agencies, he disclosed ICPC intercepted 181 million naira attempted to be diverted or stolen by corrupt public officers between January and June this year, saying we are not in short supply of anti-corruption legislations, but grossly in short supply of integrity. Now, if not for lack of integrity from affected public officers, Nigeria has enough anti-corruption agencies or institutions to stem the tide of systemic corruption. Aside ICPC and the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, public institutions like the Bureau for Public Procurement, BPP, the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, and 45 others are anti-corruption regulatory bodies. The CBN is an anti-corruption gatekeeper. The Infrastructure Concession and Regulatory Commission, ICRC, is an anti-corruption gatekeeper. I could go on, many of them like that, but if you aggregate them, you would get like about 50. Most regulatory bodies also play anti-corruption role. Virtually all professions are regulated, and every unethical practice that is carried out by these professionals is already prohibited by their rules. So we are not in short supply of anti-corruption constitutions, but we are in short supply of what we are in short supply of is integrity. We have a, gener a generous supply of hypocrisy and we also deceive ourselves. But despite the required legislations or laws to fight the canker worm, lack of integrity and political will from those saddled with the running of the agencies make corruption to be so pervasive in the country. Unfortunately, since corruption erodes capacity of state or government to provide welfare for the people is also fueling and aggravating security, sorry, insecurity in the land. I take that again. Unfortunately, since corruption erodes capacity of state or government to provide welfare for the people is also fueling and aggravating insecurity in the land. If corruption is fought to stand still by all relevant agencies and public officers, it will be discovered that the money to fix Nigeria is in Nigeria and not elsewhere because 24 trillion was spent on monitored electronic transactions alone among Nigerians within Nigeria from January to June this year, which runs to about 50 trillion yearly, he said. He further ex his father posited that corruption is an essential issue for us as a country, and so we need to have conversation around it. And according to him, 
factors like weak legislative oversight by relevant uh, committees of the National Assembly, contract variations and duplications by MDAs, tax avoidance, evasion and undeserved waivers etc are the channels through which corruption practice, corrupt practices are carried out in Nigeria. He also blamed his colleagues in the legal profession who at times would be acting for clients against the commission who are serving public servants involved in corrupt practices of using public funds for executive for execution of projects through companies they have interest in as according to him it is illegal for such clients to be involved in such businesses at that time and also ethically wrong for them to award such contracts to companies where they have interest adding that such ethical breaches ought to be dealt with properly in his remarks chairman of the house committee on corruption honorable shehu garuba said corruption usually denies a nation of the needed development and making good plans for the future adding that fighting the menace cannot be a, cannot be effective without collaboration the chief of defense staff general loki irabo represented by major general aa adesope said there is a serious link between corruption insecurity and instability he said the team for the workshop corruption a threat to security in nigeria was very apt at this time that the country and in particular the military and other security agencies are taking the fight to those perpetrating various crimes and criminalities across the country had they really taken the fight to the people perpetrating various crimes because we if 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 the bandits are still moving freely in the northern part of the country but other people agitating for secession and their and their and their rights are, are being chased in the south i don't know how they can do that if the bandits can 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 abduct people from northern nigeria hold them and demand ransom from government itself and government sometimes will pay and and and, and then or go on go to negotiate with them to pay them rather than using the military force to see how they can help secure and st and stop that activity and i tell you not that the military is taking a, a a fight to them when they took when the bandits actually took the fight into nda and took some some army officers and they've killed a lot of ar armies army officers in the country it's okay well. Corruption engenders insecurity and instability in the country and must be fought by all and sundry, he said. Now, in his own remarks, the Director General of NILDS, Professor Abubakar Sulaiman, said the workshop was organized for members of the House Committee on Anti-Corruption and Military Officers as a way of bringing to the front burner the need for required collaboration in the war against corruption by all relevant stakeholders. Hmm. So they organized this kind of workshop for um, people who are saddled with responsibility of stemming corruption and have been identified that corruption is systemic in Nigeria and that is why it's difficult to handle. And some of the people who are also saddled with responsibility of uh, checking corruption are also aiding it and abating it so so how how can we fight such a fight when the person that is had the responsibility to solve a problem is also in a way aiding the problem and that's where we are we know that nigeria this is no this is this is this is a no-brainer we know that we have everything in place to fight corruption in nigeria what we lack is the willpower to do the right thing and the reason we lack that willpower is because a lot of people are involved in the corruption. So they can't fight what they are involved with because they will automatically be fighting themselves. A, a, a house divided against itself shall not stand. So, and, and moreover, some of them also are beclouded by their selfish interests. So they are not really there to do the job, but to see what they can get for themselves because it is their turn. So fighting corruption in Nigeria is going to remain a big challenge until, until 
we sanitize our conscience, until we sanitize our willpower, until we are determined to, to, to relinquish our selfish interest and face reality by fighting the corruption head on. And it has to start with people who are, in one way or the other, involved with the fight to make sure that their hands are clean first before they can start fighting others on the same cause. So, someone is saying here, majority are all involved, but that is true. Corruption in Nigeria is endemic, and apart from the ones stealing from government posts, even on the street, even in small offices, anybody that finds himself in any position wants to see what he can get first, rather than what he can offer via that position to develop the system he's working for. It's unfortunate. No doubt about that. The only country on earth where illiterates and criminals are leaders, yeah? So a lot of, a lot of um, people who are currently um, parading themselves as politicians are actually people that are known for several um, court activities probably in the university days and they come out to become political thugs and from there gain ground and become politicians and so a lot of them are done and they're they leading us now. How can they fight corruption? It's just not possible. Well, that, that, is, that is my view and this is what has been um, released for us to share. Uh, just share your comment below and thank you for listening.